Hello everybody, this is Elisha Keating from WisdomSeekers.net and we're starting out with fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for April the 3rd, 2023. And the first card I pulled should be the last card, but I'll leave it for, so I'll leave it for the last card. But 2023, April 3rd fire signs should be very good and no negative sign no negative cards I got princess of pentacles which is surround yourself with beauty I'll see the beauty in the world more so is to see the beauty in the world and as you see the beauty in the world good things will be attracted to abundance joy happiness and it's very good that uh, this is happening for at least four, pe four, three people, three sets of people in the astrology sign, because the, the last few months, or last few years, last many years, have been tough. You know, each year we got a little tougher and a little tougher. I do think we hit the turning point when the end will happen. The result will happen. It's not for a few more years. Some people think oh, 2025 will be the ending. I personally think it's closer to 2028. But I do think 2025, we will see a great deal of, of positive change by then. And you have to look for it, unfortunately. Because if you look online, you see all the, all the news. The news is going to get worse for a while, but that's the news. That's what is presented to us. So you want to look at the alternative news. You look at what's happening in your neighborhood, the good things that are starting to happen around you. But tomorrow on the 3rd is a, is a good, should be a good day. It's Monday, 10 of Cups. That's a mature form of joy and happiness. So being happy, but not high, 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 or low, low, is sort of again, and I, I'm a proponent of the middle way. Not too high, not too low, but stay in the middle. Because, and that's personal experience. When I was a child, I get really high, and I knew if I got really high, I was going to have a, 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 a migraine. So I learned that the middle way was the best way for me, and I do advocate the middle way and I know people love being high and excited and they really enjoy it but because we have to live in balance if you get really high then you have to go really low and yes the joys of being really high are really nice but being mature about it is a better choice ultimately because you don't have to go through the migraines you don't have to go through the depressions okay and the last card just celebrate yourself tomorrow. Celebrate people around you. Just celebrate. If that means you go out and buy yourself a single rose and give it to yourself or a single piece of really quality chocolate, do that. But look for look to enhance yourself tomorrow. And by enhancing yourself, you will enhance other people. I, my, pro, my, my belief is 49% in service to yourself. Look after yourself first. The first 49% is about you. 51% in service to others. But if you don't look after you first, then you can't be in service to others because, well, you may have a migraine or you may, be, may get terminally sick or you may be just always low-grade sick. Or you may not have money you know so you look after yourself first do that which is right for you first and that includes allowing yourself to have abundance and don't don't close the end in how you get abundance allow your allow the universe to give you abundance and it may be that you have abundance of food and it may be that you 49% of that you need need for yourself. But 
51% you don't need that much so you can give it on to somebody else who, who does need it. And I'm not recommending you give away your food, food by the way. I'm just saying this is an idea. And one thing I've learned over the years is you, know, you don't do people services by helping them out with money. And I have tried. And each time I have tried, it has not worked. I mean, you can do one little, a little bit here and a little bit there, but when you try to do, to give people something, they stop working for it. And uh, so be careful of the money situation. Don't give just for the sake of giving, unless they're going to pay it back. And they are going to pay it back. But you can give advice, really but don't give it to people who are not ready to receive it. Again, 49% in service to yourself. Don't push something that doesn't nobody wants to hear. If they're not ready to hear, they won't. Anyhow, it's six minutes. Tomorrow for a fire It's really good. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate who you are. Allow the abundance to flow in. Allow the money abundance to flow in because spiritual people have the right to be comfortable in life. Namaste, namasko, and you I love, and you I do love.